Let's take one more problem. Here we want to compute a power b without using the power function. So how would you write this code? Assume that a and b are greater than zero. So a power b is nothing but a times a times a, so on, for a total of b times. Initially, my result will be a 1. That is how I declared my result to be a 1. And for every iteration up to b times, I keep multiplying a to the result and store the, res and store the result back in the result variable itself. So that's the pattern here. And to write the loop conditions, all you need to think about is, how do I execute a loop, let's say 10 times? I can say, I start from one, I go up till 10 in steps of one. So that will basically execute the loop 10 times. Now, how do you execute the loop B times? So you start with one and you go all the way up to B in steps of one. And during every iteration, I'm going to multiply A with the result and store the value back in result. So this is logic. This is something that cannot be taught. It comes by practice and you should be able to do it on your own. So let me write down the code and i comma a comma b i can give a prompt to the user saying printf enter a and b then i can take it from the user using scanf So A and B values are there. They can be random values, of course. So this is how I write my loop. For I equals to one, I less than or equals to B. We have seen this before. I'm just taking it from here. I plus plus. I say result equals result star A. And outside my loop, I can have printf equals percentile D comma A comma B comma result. Just like the previous factorial problem, I want you to analyze this code by drawing lines Take some random values for A and B. Do not take like large values, probably take something like three and five for A and B or five and three for A and B and see how the code runs.